Yo, what is up everybody? It's Jack here. I'm a Shopify developer here at Section Store. And today I'm going to be showing you how you can add a product reviews widget just like this one to any Shopify product page in just a couple of minutes. So in a lot of Shopify themes, there's a lot of dead space under the image on the product page and people are always looking for an option to fill the space with something. So adding a reviews widget like this can be a great option. Not only does it show a review, which proves to your customer that the product is quality, but it also improves the styling of the page and makes that left hand side look a little bit more full. The section can be added to any theme, the free ones or the paid ones in a couple of minutes. It's a liquid code like the theme, so it's not going to slow down the page. You don't have to write any code or pay any monthly app subscription. So to add these reviews, I'm going to be using the Section Store app. Section Store is a component library of over 500 different Shopify theme sections that you can see here that plug into any Shopify theme. Here you can see the product reviews three. The section itself is a one-time charge of $9, but as you can see here, it's never recurring. So once you buy it for $9, you own it forever, and you can use it as many times as you want and as many themes as you want. Once I go ahead and purchase the section, it's gonna show up here under my sections. So here are all my purchase sections. I'm gonna find the product reviews, hit add to theme, and select the theme that I wanna install them on. Now they're installed in the theme, I can jump over to the theme editor, hit add section, find product reviews three, and add it to the page. Here's an example section in this theme that I installed earlier. So for these sections, you edit them just like a regular Shopify section, so it's super intuitive. You can do it right here in the theme editor. We wanna start by clicking on the overall section name, which is gonna show us the overall section settings. Start in this section with the settings on the right-hand side and move down to make the overall section customizations. So we start with the position, and what's really cool about these sections is they have customization options for both desktop and mobile, so you can change how the customer sees it depending on what device they're viewing from. So in this situation, I'm gonna set the position to below image for both desktop and mobile. Next, I'm gonna move down to these layout settings. You can see I've got padding horizontal for both desktop and mobile, and again, vertical padding. We've got gap again for desktop and mobile. We've got the roundness of the section and border thickness if you wanna give it a border. The next set of settings are the image settings. You can choose the width on desktop and mobile, again, the roundness and border thickness. Moving down, we have the stars settings. So you can change this to a custom icon if you don't like the stars that come with the section. You can change the size of the stars as well. The text, pretty self-explanatory. We have the option to use a custom font. You can choose a custom font or use the one that comes with your theme. You can change the font size, again, for desktop and mobile, line height, and both margins. We have the verification icon, which is this little tick here. You can change the size in the icon or you can even hide it if you don't want it. Next settings are for the author text. So this is the name of the person who left the review. Again, a custom font, sizes for desktop and mobile, along with line height and margin, which are your styling settings. There's then even sections for the arrows here. So how you navigate between the reviews. Again, sizes, icon sizes, border thickness, roundness, and a hover effect if you want it to change color when the customer hovers it. Same thing for the dots in the section. We have size, margin, and if you want to show on desktop or not. And then right at the bottom here, arguably the most important section is you have full color customization for every element here. So you can update the colors, either how you designed it or the colors that come that match your brand. Once you've made all of these customizations, we can come back over to the left-hand side and start customizing the section blocks. So each section block in the section is gonna to correspond to one individual review. So this review that you can see here would be block one, and then if we clicked over to the right to another review, that would be block two. So come in here, you can choose the stars rating, so how many stars you want or how many stars your customer gave you. You can add the body of the review's text, so the review that the customer gave you, and then the author, whether that be the customer name, a business, etc., and then also the image. Back over here on the left-hand side, you can use the add review option if you wanna add more reviews in this carousel. You might wanna add four or five reviews. You repeat the same process for all of them by clicking on the block, adding a stars rating, the text from the review, an author, and then an image if you wanna add an image for the review. Once you've gone through, added all of your reviews and made your customizations and you're happy with how it's looking, you can preview it in desktop and mobile in the theme editor and then head up to the top right corner and hit save. And there you have it. There's how you can add product reviews widget just like this one to the product page of any theme in a couple of minutes, super easily from within Shopify. It works on any theme. There's no subscription and there's no coding required. What's also really great about this section, as you can see from us setting it up, is that you have full control over what reviews show up. So if you just wanna show one, of your one or two of your best reviews here, or maybe you've got a competitor that's left you a bad review and you don't wanna showcase it, you have full control over what shows up here at all times. If you have any questions about this section in particular or any other sections, feel free to reach out. Otherwise, keep an eye on both this channel and the app as we release multiple new sections every single week.